Accordance for iOS. Searching. This podcast is at the basic level. It requires no knowledge of Accordance Bible software or Hebrew or Greek. While many people use Accordance for iOS just as a basic Bible reading app, it is actually far more. It includes the most powerful Bible search engine in the world, just like our desktop version. It is fast, accurate, and easy to use, but can also perform very sophisticated searches, all without forcing users to memorize complicated command codes. This podcast is an introduction to basic searches in accordance. First, we'll take a brief look inside a text, then learn how to search by verse and search by word. For those of you who want to move beyond basic searches, we'll direct you to resources where you can learn more at the end of this episode. Look inside a text. Here at Accordance, we're fond of saying that most of the power of our software is under the hood. While our texts may look just like other digital Bibles, they are actually far more powerful. Here, let me show you what I mean. We'll get rid of the iPhone and its iOS interface and just focus on the text itself. Inside of each of Accordance's texts are multiple layers. While internally we call these different fields, the concept is probably easier to grasp if we think of each text as a multi-layer drawing. While the user sees just a single layer, all of Accordance's Bibles have at least two, one for references and another for the text. This enables users to search either layer separately. When we select search by word, we are searching the first layer. When we search by verse, we are searching the other. Numerically tagged texts, like the ESV S, have an additional layer. Words are tagged with Strong's numbers, which enable users to identify the original Hebrew or Greek behind each word. That's what the final S in the module's abbreviation stands for. These numbers can be searched directly using the key command, even if the words are translated differently in some places. The same key numbers also guide users to the proper articles in original language lexicons. Grammatically tagged original language texts, like this Hebrew Bible, have even more layers. The screen display actually conceals four separate layers. References, the Hebrew inflected words, full parsing information, and, if we purchase the add-on module, syntactical analysis. All of these layers are fully searchable, and users can construct searches that use multiple layers. The tools in Accordance are the most complex modules we offer. Some of them have more than 10 separate layers. In this example, the Anchor Yale Bible Dictionary, the tool has nine layers. Title or entry, English content, scripture, bibliography, author, transliteration, Greek content, Hebrew content, and page numbers. Though users can search any of these layers, this tool appears as a simple e-text in our software. In tools, these different layers or fields can be accessed by tapping here. We then simply select the layer that we'd like to search. Well, now that we've surveyed what is possible in accordance for iOS, let's learn how to perform some basic searches. Search by verse. Normally, we view the full text of a Bible, reading through it from front to back. However, verse searches only display the results of the search. Here's a comparison between the two types of views. In full text, we view the entire text in canonical order with all context. Normally, this is used for sequential reading, exegesis of a passage, or expository Bible study. Verse searches, on the other hand, display only the hit results in search order and with optional context. People use these for interpreting scripture with scripture, perhaps prophecy fulfillment, and comparative study of passages. All we have to do to enter search mode is to tap the magnifying glass. This pane will appear. It includes the search entry box and the iOS keyboard. It also gives us a choice of search texts just tap to select a different text. Search type, the choice of searching by words or verses, and here, of course, we'll choose verses, plus a more menu item, which we'll cover under word searches.
This pane also gives us the chance to back out of search mode and return to the previous pane by simply tapping Cancel. All we have to do is simply type in the verses we'd like to see. They can be in any order, but we do have to follow the standard rules of verse notation. Enter the book or abbreviation, and we need only type enough of the book's name to uniquely identify it. Type a space, and then the chapters we'd like to see. Type a colon or a period, then the verses. And finally, separate references with a semicolon. To put it another way, semicolons separate books or chapters. Colons or periods separate verses from chapters. Dashes indicate ranges, and we can use the abbreviation F for the verse or chapter and FF for the verses or chapters following. I'd like to also pass along three tips. First, passages need not be in canonical order, and they can also be listed more than once. Finally, any reference tool in the parallel pane will still follow the text perfectly. This makes it easy to teach or preach from Accordance iOS or use it to follow someone else's lesson. Done with your search? Ready to return to regular full text view? This book icon appears only when we're in search view. If at any point we want to view the entire text, we simply tap it. Accordance will return to text view, opening the text to the exact reference that was displayed at the top of the search view pane. Search by word. A word or phrase search display is different from a verse search. As you can see, the word hits are identified in a different font color. There are other differences as well. A word or phrase search shows hit results only in canonical order, again with optional context. Uses, things like topical preaching or teaching, word study, and thematic study. By now, this search screen for text should look very familiar. The only difference is that we choose words instead of verses. So let's take a moment to look at the choices under More. Commands gives us just that, a list of commands we can add to our word searches to make them more precise. Tags, which is short for grammatical tags, is only available when the text is one of our original language grammatically tagged texts, like the Greek New Testament or the Hebrew Old Testament. Several chapters of each of these are included with our free starter package, by the way. These tags enable us to search for specific parts of speech, like a noun or an adjective. Finally, Options opens a list of search options, whether to search by verse, sentence, chapter, etc. Range, whether to search the whole text or some part of it, like the New Testament. And Add Context, which allows us to add one or more verses of context around our hits. We can even use this last option to choose to keep viewing the entire text and just move between hits with the navigation arrows at the bottom of the page. Searching for a single word is very easy. Just enter a word, then tap Search. The same procedure is used to search for a simple phrase. Now, what could be easier than that? However, Accordance is also capable of very complex searches, as we've already seen. In fact, searches are only limited by our imagination. Here's a few variations just to get you started. Here are a few of the commands Accordance recognizes. They can be entered using the command icon or just typed in, whichever user finds easier. God and love finds all the verses with both words. God or Lord finds verses with either word. An angel not Lord finds all the verses with angel that do not also have the word Lord. Angel XOR Lord finds verses that have either of the two words, but not both. While we're at it, here are just a few of the symbols Accordance recognizes. The question mark means any single letter, so if we type R question mark N, Accordance will find all of the verses that have either ran or run in them. The asterisk means none to many letters. In other words, if we type WILD asterisk, Accordance will find wild, wilds, or even wilderness in the Bible. And equals means exact form, including capitalization, accents, and any possessives. For example, equals capital S 
P I R I T apostrophe S will find that exact form. Searching for a word in a tool is much the same. We've already mentioned the single exception. Tools have many more layers. The default entry or title is probably the most common search setting, but users may choose to search any layer. Simply tap the entry icon and select from the layers that are within each tool. Learn more. This podcast, number 57, is the third in a series introducing new users to Accordance for iOS. If you haven't yet seen the other two, let me encourage you to watch them for more information. All of our Lighting the Lamp podcasts can be found on iTunes and on YouTube. Or if you prefer, you can download them directly from our webpage. In this episode, we've just scratched the surface of the kinds of searches Accordance can do. Want to become a search master? Our Lighting the Lamp archives include eight more podcasts to assist you in becoming one. While these are illustrated with Accordance on a Mac, you'll find most of the same features in our iOS app. Watching these will also allow you to see some of the very first podcasts we ever produced. Accordance for iOS is a complete Bible study software package, offering users the resources you want and the power you need on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Since you can now have your complete Bible study library with you wherever you go, you have the power to transform wasted minutes into productive spiritual growth. Have a Bible study with a friend over coffee. Share an insight with a student while walking to class. Lead a devotional around the campfire at night, even if that campfire is deep in the African bush. Bible study has never been easier or more portable. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Thank you.